Good morning, evening, friends. A little more Overwatch 1v1 Fun v Fun. Now, I've put up a 1v1 video before this one. This one is another one in which I just had a blast. Shout out to X Boss Legends. I sent both of these guys, both guys, in this um, good games afterwards because I really enjoy playing it, and I, that's what I want. That's that's more important than anything else. Just having fun while I'm playing. Start off with Zenyatta. Hopefully, I do better than I did the last time I played Zenyatta. Not a very good Zenyatta because that requires me to be a good shot, and I'm not. Um, he is probably my least played uh, support. I do love playing support. He's probably my least played because I have to kind of keep a good line of sight with him. Or with everybody else while I'm playing him. And I find that difficult. And right now, I can't find a line inside of my enemy. First thing you do on 1v1 is continue to kind of keep a finger lurking for that um, orb of discord. You want to make sure your orb of discord is ready. Because that's going to act as your impromptu seek device. Gives you a pretty good idea where everybody is if you got your orb of discord up. I struck first, and he struck best. <laughs> that sucked. That sucked. Sometimes you just, sometimes you just unlucky. Um, as I have said many times, I really enjoy the Diva matchup one v one. I think I have some innovative ideas, and played properly. I think you can, um, not guarantee you can put yourself in a really good position with Diva, but you have to play it right. I think a lot of people do not. Oh no. Getting shot in the back. Oh no. And there we go. Aim for the cockpit. You're going to get a lot more damage that way. Now I got... I was knocked out of mine first, but that is a plus in my book. Because now every shot I'm making... Every shot that hits... Is getting me closer to um being my being in my mech. Eh, it's close. Now now would be a good time for me to run away, so I can make sure I get my mech. And that's exactly what I did because I'm smart like that. Kind of draw him into the fight. Now I hear that he's in his mech. It's good to be able to hear with the D.Va matchup too. Because you got to know when they're getting in their mech. Also, if you're about to lose your mech, it's usually a good idea to go ahead and use your nerf this. Use your ult. Because um, you get a new mech faster. You don't have to wait. Mmm, looking good. And now, stay on her. Use the shield. I didn't use the shield enough. And a punch. Yeah, uh, the coolest thing to do is use a shield. So that way you can maintain how much, or you can kind of regulate how much damage you're, dealing, you're taking. And then shoot them in the face if they kind of if they're kind of moving around back and forth or there's a good distance and they think you think they're not gonna they're yeah might gonna you think they're about to duck away really good thing to um use the jets push into her then rotate around she has to kind of catch up to where you're going plus she takes a little bit of damage every time you hit her now we're working with may and my thing is right now keep your health up Keep your health up. The last thing you want is for to get hit by a wayward ice sickle and die because you didn't have enough health to get into the fight, the subsequent fight. So keep your health up. Most of the time, people use this for, to not get frozen with May, which is a good usage of it, but sometimes it's a lot better if instead of not getting frozen with me ah uh, that didn't work how I wanted to sometimes it's better just to be able to stay alive a little bit longer thought he was closer but he wasn't ah oh 
Ow! That stunk. What I probably should have done there, it probably would have been smarter to freeze him, put up a wall, and then move away. Or at least freeze him, move away, and then put up a wall on my way out so that way I can heal back up. And he has to deal with that. Now, I don't know if you've watched me play this before on 1v1. Farah may be my absolute worst matchup. Absolute worst. And on this one, you will see a lot of near misses. Or near hits or whatever you want to call them. You'll see an awful lot of that. I am better with Farah when the other team is not in the air. Uh, I saw somebody do once a Farah and a... Um, I think they, they did that as a... Uh, as a brawl once. It was Farah and Mercy. And you had to pick one of the two. And holy moly was that frustrating. <laughs> that was so frustrating. I just wanted to be Mercy the entire time. Because that way all I gotta do is just stick close to somebody. Heal, damage boost, heal, damage boost, heal, damage boost. Oh, so close. Because shooting people who are in the air are just is just ridiculous for me. I'm not that player. Ah, so close. I'm shooting where he wants to go. I'm just not getting the hits. Because he's smart enough to not be there once the rocket gets there. Dance, 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 dance machine. De blows, de blows, de plane, boss, de plane. One to three is not looking good. Xbox Legends is doing very well right now. <laughs> I see him. Winston is a tough match. I don't think I have a sound strategy for the Winston matchup, but I think that's why I lose most of the time with Winston. Usually it's within without. <sighs> Usually it's within about 40 or 50 health when I lose. So. I do believe that his jump is underrated. I think Winston's jump is the fact that it deals damage. I don't think a lot of people utilize that. So when they do the jump, they only use it to get away. Sometimes you want the jump to get in because it deals that extra damage. Like right there. I don't know if it dealt the damage I needed right there. But um, he does a little shockwave. It's really good when you're fighting against, if you're in a team game, if you're fighting against the Metros or um, anybody with like, Maybe not so much uh, Torbjorn's turrets. But anything with weak things that are kind of sticking around. He's able to jump in and just on landing. Like say Symmetra has a turret nest in there. Just on jumping in. He's able to deal damage and kill that turret. Break up that turret nest. And that's fantastic. Um, so a lot of people don't recognize that. And don't. They're not prepared for it when it hits them here. It's actually kind of neat. But you can get some extra damage just off that jump. That's kind of what I'm getting at, sorry. <laughs> and the rambling man rambles. Again, I don't know what to do with the Symmetra matchup on this one. I like to have aggressively placed turrets. And I like to now throw that shield out in a direction where people can, can see which way I was when I shot the shield. But not be there. So if they go looking for me where I was... All I have to do is keep an eye on where I was, and that that will at least let me know where they are. Because right now I got no clue. No clue. Need to pop up anywhere. I know where my turrets are, and I want them kind of near those. But as of right now, no luck. Yeah, Warner Mid Symmetra. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Still no Symmetra. Trying to keep my eyes peeled. I wanted to make sure I came on this side because all of my turrets are on the other side. I hate when they do this where they just kind of hold up. Uh, the reason I did not get out of the way of that was because if you look up, I have that packet loss. And I could not get out of the way. I know I was moving on the screen, but in actuality, and if they were to show, if I had died there and they showed the kill cam for the for um, play of the game or whatever, um, you would have seen that even though I was moving around on my screen, on his screen, I was just standing straight up and down, like 6 o'clock. And that sucks, but it's kind of a necessary proponent to the game. 
Like, I don't blame him for that. That that is my fault. And you know, that's cool. Continue to try to keep pressure on him. Uh if he doesn't kill me, we gotta draw here. Uh oh. Yeah. Now, once I see that the majority of my, um, <laughs> that the majority of my turrets are kind of down, I'm okay with a draw. And he would have died before I died there. Hopefully. Torby on. Torby Warby. Y'all know y'all love Torby. Now, again, the trick with Torbjorn is to not get too comfy with his um, turret. A lot of people want their turret to be level 2 at all times. They only want to use a level 2 or turret. They want to be ready at all times. No matter where their opponent comes from, their level 2 turret is going to be ready. No. Sometimes a level 1 turret is all you really need. Now, I went back here just because last time this is where he sat. And as frustrating as that is, it helps me know where he is. Now look where we are, right in front of his base. If he were a better shot, he would have killed me there. Or if he had gotten a little luckier, I guess, he would have killed me there. Because I would have missed that too. Ha <laughs> ha! Now this is a trap, I'm betting. <laughs> it just feels like a trap, right? He popped his head out, went right back in. It's gotta be a trap. And there's a trap. And that was just luck, I'm not gonna lie. I was uh, not saying I wasn't trying to do that. Clearly, I was trying to shoot in there, and clearly, I was trying to deal damage to him and not his turret. But we okay to call it luck, luck, right? This is that packet loss, and that sucks. That is why, at the end of the packet loss, I go right back to where I was, because in the game, I'm actually standing perfectly still, so I didn't actually go anywhere. Should have done that earlier so I could have gotten 150 instead of 100. So I start the game at a disadvantage now. If I knew how to aim with Tracer, things would be much better. Yeah, it took all them bullets. From her little beasting. And I'm not beasting. Was that four to three? So we are nearing the end of this sorted little tale. Hopefully, we can make a comeback and come all the way. Like I said, I'm not the best with assault characters and attack characters because I don't use them a lot. I have to work on that. I do like McCree. Um, like most, like a lot of other people who play McCree, I, I don't fan the hammer. I'm not very good at fanning the hammer. Every time I try, I might get one or two hits, but it doesn't really help. I would much rather do a straight line shooting. Because it, it still hits like a truck. And I would prefer to do a damage hit, hitting like a truck and knowing it's working than not. Oof. That was actually really lucky timing. Oof, oof. Not doing so hot. Eh. Got a hit. I don't know why I threw that. It's not going to go that far. I know it. Very glad he wasn't there to come around that corner for that packet loss, packet loss here. Lusa. I really like when they're in the, the background like that because it's more likely that if I get a hit, it's going to be a headshot. Five health left. Three, four, three over four. Three, or three to four. See if we can't tie this up. Not if I don't know where he is. And I didn't. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the ball game. I had a lot of fun with this though. That's why I posted this. Um... Not because anything I did was relatively special or anything like that, but just because I had a lot of fun with it. And him shooting me out of the sky should be playing the game because that's tough. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like, hit like. If you love, hit subscribe. I really appreciate you. I'm out of here. Peace.